Hello, this is Lucian Miller from Innovative Designs and today in this video we're going to show you how to properly file a flat on a shaft for a pinion gear. A lot of guys that are using the Scorpion helicopter motors have asked us what is the proper technique to put a flat on a shaft you know, without damaging the motor or creating any problems. And so today we're going to show you that um, what we've got here is an HK3026-1400 helicopter motor with a pinion gear. Uh, this is a very common motor you'd use in like a T-Rex 500 helicopter. Uh, we've got our C-clip pliers, an Allen wrench, uh, plastic bag to protect the motor, and a, uh, a pair of scissors to do some cutting. So uh, now that we've got all of our tools that we need here, we're going to show you uh, the proper steps uh, on how to do this. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is mount the motor in your helicopter and get the pinion gear positioned where it needs to be to properly mesh with the main gear. Once you get that on there, you'll want to take your set screw here and wrench it down pretty good because what you're wanting to do here is make a little mark on the shaft that you're going to be able to see later on. And then you can loosen that set screw, pull the, uh, the pinion gear off, and if you zoom in here you can see Right there, there's a little half round nick in the shaft right where the pinion gear uh, set screw hit. And that's where we're going to make our uh, grind on the shaft in order to put a flat spot. Now, in order to uh, do this, we want to take the motor apart first to avoid getting any kind of contamination inside the motor. Uh, so we use our little uh, C-clip pliers. Uh, again, uh, these can be purchased at, at Harbor Freight. You can get a whole set of four of them, I think, for $5.99. Uh, and they work really great for opening up these little C-clips and getting them off the motor. Uh, once you get it in there and pry it open, you can uh, pop it loose and lift it up off the motor here. Sometimes they're a little stubborn. Okay, now we got the C-clip off. We'll set that aside and the little washer that's underneath it. And you can just pull the motor apart. Now, before you grind on the motor, you always want to protect the motor because the magnets that are inside here are so strong, they will suck any metal dust from anywhere around them very quickly. So we want to make sure that we use a plastic bag to protect the motor. Now, the way I typically do this is just to take the bag, fold it in half, and use a pair of scissors just to nick the corner a little bit like that to make a hole that I'm going to put the shaft through. And then we'll open up the bag, we'll put the motor inside the baggie and just stick the shaft out through that little hole, seal the bag up, and what that does is protect the uh, motor from getting any metal filings in it. Okay, now that we've got the motor in the bag, we can go ahead and uh, grind our flat. Now if you can look, zoom in here, you can see that little nick right there that we put with a set screw. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to start from about a sixteenth of an inch below that until about a sixteenth of an inch above it to make sure we have plenty of flat on the shaft. There's a couple of ways that you can do that. You can do it by hand with a needle file set. You know, and you can, you can get in here and you can just file on the shaft like this. But this is, uh, the shafts are pretty hard. This is a very slow, tedious process. It'll take, you know, probably 10 minutes of filing to do that. Personally, I like using a Dremel tool because it's a lot faster and does the job quite well. So, we can see right where we're going to want to put that flat. I'm going to take the Dremel tool and basically I'm just going to set it down on the shaft and just go back and forth. And as I cut, that, that uh, part that I'm grinding out is going to get wider and wider. When it gets to the point where it's as wide as I want, then I can stop. Okay, now you see that took about 10 seconds, and I've got a nice flat that runs from one side of the shaft to the other, centered right on where uh, I marked it. 
Now if you want to, if you want to clean up the edges a little bit, you can come in with your jeweler's file, dress that up a little bit to get any burrs off the edges to make sure your pinion will fit on there nice and smooth. And then you can go ahead and test fit your pinion, make sure that it's in the right spot. Yeah, that's perfect. So that you can see our set screw is going to be right in the middle of our flat. And we're good to go. Now that you've got the flat on there, you just need to open up the bag, pull the motor out, wipe the shaft off, and uh, now you can go ahead and reassemble the motor. Okay, now we've got the flat on the uh, motor shaft. We've got the uh, motor out of the bag and cleaned off. We're going to go ahead and put it back together. Now, whenever you put the two halves of the motor back together, you always want to remember that these magnets are extremely strong and they'll tend to want to just grab that stator and just slam the two parts together. If you do that, what happens is the inner place uh, inside the motor that rests on this bearing will slam down on that bearing and you can damage that bearing and you can also pinch your fingers pretty bad if you're not careful. So I always like to hold the stator out near the end like this and then when you slide the two parts together that magnetic grip pulls it to that point and then you can just kind of slowly slide your fingers out of the way and the motor will pretty much pull itself back together. Once the motor's together, remember to put your little washer on and get your C-clip and your C-clip pliers and we're going to go ahead and get that down in the groove, open up that C-clip, slide it down to the notch just like that and we're uh, good to go. The motor's back together. Now we're going to go ahead and put the uh, pinion gear on. Now, I always like to use a little bit of Loctite on the pinion gear to make sure that it stays in place and doesn't come loose lately. I've got my bottle of blue Loctite here. You always want to remember to shake up your Loctite before you use it because the solids do settle down in the bottom of the bottle. So we'll just take a little bit of Loctite, put on the uh, set screw, and I'm going to go ahead and put that back in my pinion gear, but I'm not going to screw it all the way in. I'm just going to put it in about halfway like that. Then line the pinion gear up with your flat, drop it down, and then tighten it up with your Allen wrench. Get it good and tight. And then you can use a paper towel or a Q-tip or something like that to clean off any excess uh, Loctite so it doesn't go flying around in your helicopter get on anything. And now you're ready to put your motor back into your helicopter. Well, that completes the process for grinding a flat and mounting a pinion gear on a Scorpion helicopter motor. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video and learned something from it. Uh, if you'd like to check out our other videos, they're available on our website at www.innovativedesigns.com or you can go check them out on YouTube looking up the profile Innovative 8. If any of you guys out there have an idea for a video that you'd like to see us do, please go ahead and submit your ideas to our website at sales at InnovativeDesigns.com. If we see something that we think would be interesting, we'll go ahead and put it together for you and publish it as a video. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you all next time.